6 o'clock across North Texas. Broadcasting live and in HD, Fox 4 News starts now. Decades of records that name Boy Scouts of America volunteers and employees who were suspected of sex abuse could be released in coming weeks. It comes after a court case in Oregon that forced the Irving-based organization to give up hundreds of thousands of hidden files. Fox 4's Phil Alvarado first on Fox 4 News with how those hidden files may expose more allegations of abuse. Phil. Well, Richard, we talked to the Oregon attorney whose case led to the release of all these files. Now, he has seen what is inside of them and says that they'll be released in three to four weeks. That's when they'll be made public. And it could reveal to a lot of families if they also were victims or at least if their scouts were ever exposed or made contact with any of the people mentioned in these files. The files from the Irving-based Boy Scouts of America were released during a sexual abuse case against the scouting organization in Oregon. The Boy Scouts lost the case, and the victim was awarded $20 million, $18 million in punitive damages. The Oregon attorney who tried the case says the firestorm is over the files the Boy Scouts had to give up. Today, he spoke to us by phone. Confidential or secret files that the Boy Scouts kept from 1925 uh, up until today, actually, um, that contain the names of scout leaders who have been banned from scouting. Clark says the Boy Scouts kept a perversion file, and 95% of those cases were related to sexual abuse. In a written statement, the Boy Scouts say, We regret there have been times when, despite the BSA's best efforts to protect children, scouts were abused, and for that we are very sorry and extend our deepest sympathies to victims. When the files are made public in three to four weeks, it could reveal to many families if they've been a victim. The Boy Scouts may be forced to give up even more files in another abuse case that's going through the courts in San Antonio. It does tend to show you that the, the dominoes are starting to fall around the country as more and more judges are starting to say that these files are relevant evidence uh, and they go to show uh, what the Boy Scouts knew about child abuse in their organization. Dallas attorney Trey Branham isn't involved in any of the Boy Scout cases, but he has handled sexual abuse cases. But based on what Clark and others have found in the files... We've got a situation where, at least apparently, uh, lots of the upper management of Boy Scouts knew this was going on, and at a bare minimum not reporting it, and some of the files certainly it seemed to indicate that there was an active cover-up in some instances going on. In their statement, the Boy Scouts add that we have always cooperated fully with law enforcement and now require our members to report even suspicion of abuse directly to law enforcement. And the Boy Scouts say that they've also made other changes, like everyone in the organization is required to take special protection training to learn how to spot and then report abuse. And the Scouts are also encouraged to report anything suspicious. Richard? Phil, this is troubling stuff. Anybody offering an explanation for why the Boy Scout organization may have chose to handle cases in this manner? Well, you know, the Oregon attorney, Kelly Clark, uh, you know, he has seen what's in these files, and he tells us that it appears to him that in many cases it was to protect the image of the organization, and in other cases, uh, the, you know, the reputation of the people actually involved. Now, even Clark says that the Boy Scouts are doing a better job today, but he says if you're going to have, you know, new stringent policies, then they have to be enforced everywhere all the time. Thank you, Phil.